Today we're deep in the heart of a mangrove forest, exploring some amazing trees that can survive in salt water. When you enter a mangrove forest, it's a tangled maze of branches and roots that creates an eerie feeling. It's a feeling that's even more pronounced once you go underwater. The mangrove forest canopy filters out most of the sunlight and the roots trap sediment, so the result is a dark, silty environment. The fact that mangroves can live in salt water is no small feat. The underwater portion of their roots is actually able to filter the salt straight out of the ocean. When the tide goes out and the roots become exposed to air, they can switch their function and absorb oxygen. They do this by opening small pores on the roots, these little white bumps that are called lenticels. This is vital for their survival because the sediment and organic debris that's gathering at the base of the roots is decomposing and it creates an anoxic environment. And even though plants are net producers of oxygen, they do need to absorb oxygen from the atmosphere in order to metabolize. The shelter that the mangrove roots provide is a great refuge for small fish to avoid predators and it's a well-known nursery area for a lot of coral reef fish. During our time in the mangroves, the few fish that did appear seemed to vanish into the darkness like some kind of apparition. Quite a few animals use the mangrove roots themselves as their home. Sponges, barnacles. And this little crab hung out until a leaf drifted by and took him off to somewhere new. In most parts of the tropics, the mangrove forest habitat serves a really important function to the marine ecosystem. Healthy mangrove forests can reduce erosion, they can protect the shoreline from the impact of storms, and they can greatly reduce the amount of sediment that runs off of land and ends up on the coral reef. Mangrove forests around the world face a lot of threats from human development of coastlines and there are major efforts to save and restore mangrove forests in many parts of the world. Ironically, here in Hawaii, mangroves are actually not a native species. And since they're not native, there are a lot of people who would like to see them removed from Hawaii, despite the benefit that they provide in their native ranges. Among the impacts that the mangroves have been having in Hawaii is that they've cut off circulation to some of the traditional Hawaiian fish ponds and they have overtaken habitat that was previously used by nesting seabirds. Mm -hmm. 